Jeff Stone here. Another episode of MagicReview.com. John Kaplan's Santa Appears. <clears throat> well, uh, this is 35 bucks, And you get a DVD. No, not a DVD. CD-ROM. Although it is pressed, not burned. Ooh, there you go. There's like a weird perspective. Um, the, it's burned, uh, or pressed, not burned, but all of that's on here is a PDF. That's right, a PDF. So my first question is, why didn't you just make it a download? But that is not enough. There's more. So one of the problems is that you have to download the latest version, well, uh, version 9 or newer, of Adobe Acrobat Reader, whatever. And I just don't like that software. I, I, I prefer Nitro, uh, even though Nitro costs money and Adobe doesn't, uh, the, at least the reader doesn't. I like Nitro. I tried to open it in Nitro. No, it doesn't work. It'll open the files, but in each... Basically, it's like seven or eight PDFs that sort of act like their own PDFs, but they're all indexed together into one sort of package. It's kind of hard to explain, but when you open up the disk, it shows to the left, oh, here's PDF number one, PDF number two, number three, but it only does that inside of some sort of program like Adobe or Nitro. So in Nitro, it opens, and I can click on each PDF and read it, but the embedded video doesn't play. The only way to get the video to play is by downloading Adobe Reader and I so I'm already annoyed that I gotta download a piece of software onto my machine that I don't want there. So as soon as I'm done with this review I'm deleting that stupid software. Sorry. I use Adobe stuff. I know, do I? No, I'm using Corel to edit, edit these videos. So I don't think I use anything Adobe. Anyway, personal software choices aside um, the, this, I ended up giving this 2.5 star stone status of grubble, uh, for those new gem is good. Rubble is bad. Grubble is somewhere in between. Uh, and for those who are really new, uh, somebody the other day asked, what's a gem? And I had to explain it's my apparently not so clever attempt to make a play on words. My last name being stone. Gems are precious stones. Rubble is a pile of rocks or stones. Anyway, <sighs> rambling aside, <laughs> these videos I've done today are nuts, guys. Uh, I'm a little out of it, apparently. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you know where your children are? Okay, so <laughs> I promise I'm not on drugs. Uh... Anyway, so back to this product. When you open it up, basically what you're getting is six, you get seven illusions, but they're, they're advertising six of them. Um, the seventh one they call the bonus one, and it's a little different. You'll see why in a moment. Just be patient. So you open up the first one. There's a video that's embedded into the actual PDF. You watch it. It's like, you know, somewhere around a five-ish minute video of him performing the actual illusion. Um, and then right below that are some written instructions, which are pretty vague. Uh, are pretty, eh, I don't know if vague is the right word. Kind of, that might be the right word. But they're sparse at best. Uh, and then following that will be photographs of the prop. And then following that is sort of sketches done on like grid or graph paper of the dimensions and stuff of, of the illusion now i'm a smart guy i think uh i'm not a carpenter i'm not a woodworker i'm not the you know anything like that but when i looked at those pictures i was i personally forget about the the skills necessary to actually do the building looking at the instructions and printouts and, and and the blueprints and stuff uh, blueprints i wouldn't call them blueprints but we'll just for the lack of a better word blueprints looking at all that stuff i just i know that i would not be able to build these illusions 
And I don't mean because I'm not good at building things. I'm not, but even if I were, there's, I don't, I didn't feel there was enough information there for me to completely understand it well enough to know how to put it together. Now I could be totally wrong. And somebody who knows woodworking could look at those in two seconds and go, Oh yeah, I know how that works. Either way, uh, unless you're an illusion builder, you're probably going to need a guy or a girl, but a person who is your illusion builder person. Um, so they're unclear. They, um, some of them, I look after reading it more than once, uh, and looking at the pictures and the layouts, I have still have no clue how the illusion works. I'm still looking at it going, I have no I don't see how that works. I don't understand how it actually operates or how, you know, they're all, all of them are productions. You're, you're showing an empty box and somebody appears in the box or show an empty this and somebody appears into that, um, they're, that they're all productions. And some of them, I, I still, I have no clue how they work, even after reading them. One of them, um, the book of life. Um, he gives very, very vague instructions and basically says, um, to really learn how to build this, go over to Paul Osborne's website and buy the secret for $27. Ironically, that's the only one that I really kind of understood how it worked. Uh, even though the instructions were not as good as the others. So just all in all, not the, the product quality of this is pretty terrible too. It just there's so many better ways this could have been done. I mean, this could have just been a website that you bought a password to. It might've been better. Um, but the delivery method aside, uh, the, if, if you're an illusion person, one, these are, most of these are pretty familiar type illusions. And his, these are, you know, his, blueprints or ways to make them uh, maybe it's slightly different than the original or whatever and frankly i don't know enough about illusions to know how different these are one of them he claims is completely original with him uh, i think it's called the pyramid production or the triangle production and then the illusion is amazing I, I saw it on the video and i'm like i don't know and i read the instructions oh, i still don't know how the thing works i'm i'm still just as clueless and amazed after reading it not knowing how it works so the reason I gave it two and a half stars and not like one or lower is because this could just be me like having no clue how illusions work. And therefore I can't judge this. I just don't know. All the videos looked good. The illusion fooled me. Um, except for one that I did actually kind of know how it worked already. Uh, cause I read it in Mark Wilson's book a long time ago. So, but generally speaking, the illusions fooled me. Uh, and I could see if you're an illusion person, you know, you would want these in your act. And I'm assuming that the, the illusion that he's showing you is, is what he's teaching you how to build just that illusion. Um, and so I'm assuming that the, that, you know, all that's legitimate. So if that's all true, then it's just, he didn't explain very well how to build them or I'm an idiot. And I don't know how to read what he explained. Um, I'm going to err in favor of myself not being an idiot and say that it's not very well written and, and taught on how to explain it. So if you want to take the risk and spend 35 bucks and, uh, just give the DVD, don't even, not even a DVD, the PDF to your construction guy that builds your stuff and say, here, build me illusion number four or whatever and take the risk that it's going to work, then, I mean, 35 bucks is a small price to pay um, for that. And getting it built, I can't imagine it's too expensive. It's just some wood paint and a few, you know, roller wheels or whatever here and there. So it may be worth the risk for you. For me, I just don't get it is what it comes down to. And some of the stuff I read multiple times and I'm just still like, I don't even see how this works at all. So that's why we got a 2.5 stat, uh, star stone status of grubble. Sorry, folks. This is uh, the third video I've shot today and I got a broad range here. We had a one star, a five star and a two and a half star. 
And uh, I don't know. I flashed what the other product's going to be. It's gone. Uh, anyway, this is what we're reviewing next time. But I'll tell you that in a minute. Pretend like you didn't see this yet. Because right now, you're supposed to be liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and listening to the Random iTunes song of the moment, which is... Oh, man. Bang Tango. Midnight Struck. This is a, another obscure band. That's the third one in a row where I got these obscure... This is a great song. And I will put a link to it in the description below. It's called Where Were You When Midnight Struck, or just Midnight Struck. And um, Bang Tango, I, I'd never heard of these guys. I, I was a little bit familiar with some of their music, just, just didn't know it was theirs. And a friend of mine had a bunch of CDs he was just getting rid of. He's like, dude, do you want these? I'm like, free music? Sure, I'll take them. And uh turned out there's some pretty good stuff, and that was one of them. So Bang Tango. Uh, and that's it for this review, so tune in next time. We're looking at Gone by Daniel Bryan. When will this review be posted? I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Sorry for being so off today, guys, but thanks for watching and sitting through all this. We'll see you next time. Peace out.